Good morning, Rangers. Uh, it is a Tuesday morning. Uh, we are working on our uh, floor plan here and our elevation. Um, you know, we got our windows finished up on the last video. Um, and so a couple things I want to show you with windows. Um, this one here, I didn't do this yesterday, but I just finished it up this morning. Um, we got this window on this little nook here, a little, uh, little nook we have here. And there's a window into the kitchen that's half covered up by this wall. So that window that's half covered up by the wall also is in front of a countertop. So that's why it's shorter. Um, but you're only going to see half of it. Um, and someone asked about if it's on an angle. And so in, in order to show that it's on an angle, what I do, rather than offset one and two on the sides, I offset half and one on the sides, and I still do one and two on the top. And that kind of creates the illusion that the window is on a little on an angle, like a 45 or 30 degree angle. If you had a little cantilever, a little bump out that wasn't square. So again, to say that this little bump out here was on like a 45 degree angle, that would make this window, the vertical lines on the window look closer together because it's on an angle. And so I draw that and show that um, by making these half the size, but I keep the top ones normal. So this would be one and two, this would be half, and this would be one, this would be half, and that would be one. And it kind of gives it that illusion, like I said, that it is on an angle. Um, what else we got here? Uh, so we got the windows done on the main floor. We need a window up here on the second story. So what I need to do next is move my second story straight above my main floor. So I'm gonna grab a line that's uniform to both plans. And so that front room I know is the same. So I'm gonna grab this uh, wall edge and just drag this straight up like that. And now I'm gonna copy or move my main floor plan. So I put a window around it all, right click, grab the bottom right corner, cause that's the same corner I grabbed for my extension line. I'm gonna follow that up. And we're gonna put our second story straight above our main level. Okay. And conceptually, we could do the same thing with the basement. And so we could move it around. Okay, if that room is the same, you can grab that line and line that up also. You're not going to see this the basement from the front of the house because it's uh, at grade. Um, but when we do the back of the house, we're going to need all three lined up kind of like that. And so I just find one uniform line with all three plans. It could be the stairway. It could be a line on the house, one of the wall lines, um, and drag that up. And so that that touches all three in the same spot. That way, that's the way I know that's a way that I will know that each line is going to connect as I draw my plan. So I need the second story uh, window to come down yet. And so I'm going to grab my line tool and grab the edge of the wall window, bring it down through the main floor. OK, again, this is second story that's going to come down again um, five feet. Grab the second side of it. And bring this down. And again, stop here, go down my five feet, track over, track over. I don't have any windows facing the front of the house on this uh, from the front elevation. And so this is the only one I need to draw right now. So I'm going to trim, get rid of that top line because I'm done with windows. There's no doors up here. You can dump these two lines. And dump this now because I don't need that anymore. And then I can do my offset of my one. And offset of two. And then trim it out, put my uh, horizontal lines in there for my double hung windows, trim around the windows, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the next thing I wanna do is the roof line. And so the roof line, I'm going to bring down. I offset it on the main floor. My house is relatively symmetrical. And so at least from the front of the house, the roof line would be the same on both levels. Um, I have these porch roofs that are on the, only on the lower level, but the main, the upstairs roof matches most of this. So I'll be able to use these lines that I offset one inch over. And I think we did that in class. Remember, we took that poly line, we traced around the perimeter of the house, and we offset 12 inches. And that's how we got this poly line around the outside. So poly line is over here. You're going to trace around your house, all the corners, and then offset that 12 inches, and you'll get this line here for your roof overhang. And so I'm going to drop those down for my second story. And so I'm going to grab my line tool and bring this down here. And this would be on elevation layer, so I'm going to quick switch back over to elevation layer. We did make a roofing layer, and that's going to be for shingles. Um, when we're actually drawing your roof, we're going to stay on elevation. So don't switch to your roof layer if you have one of those. So 
this is the other corner in there. Still on the wrong layer, sorry. So you'll notice I'm bringing that line to the bottom of the fascia. This, uh, this, this double line on here we talked about the other day is the fascia, and um, that's where your gutters would hang. And so these edges come down to the bottom of the fascia. Why am I still on elevation detail? Try this again. Oops. Having a terrible time this morning. There we go. And so that's the one side. This is the other side. And the other side comes down here like this. And so for my second story roof, that's all you're going to see are those three. Um, this bump out is only on the lower level. So I'm going to bring that one down to this fascia. I'm going to trim out this upper roof here a minute just to keep it a little easier for us. So I won't need to see this on the second. This is only second story, second story. All right, and then main level is down here. Um, I need to see the roof over the kitchen, which is this one. That's only second story, only, only on the main level. And then our little porch roof also is going to come down here. And another little porch roof over here. She's going to line up with the second story. All right, so I took all my roof edges down, brought them to the, to the bottom of the fascia, depending on which, which floor I was, upstairs or on the main level. And I brought those down. I think I'm going to stop this video here and uh, start another one um, for the rest of the roof. And so focus on that next. Get your house plans, floor plans lined up with each other. Get your roof offset if you haven't done that, 12 inches out. Bring those lines down. If it's second story, it should stop up here at the fascia. If it's main level, it should stop here at the fascia. And if you have any trouble, any questions, uh, shoot me an email and I will get back to you. That will be uh, the rest of the plan for today. And so on Thursday, we'll finish up drawing the roof on this level. Um, so finish up your windows, second story, main floor, um, and we will get after the roof next. All right, have a great day, and we will catch you soon.